going on, everybody? This is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Satisfactory. I hope you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing pretty great myself. Uh, don't want to forget to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when things happen. And also, if you guys are interested in purchasing the game and like to help me out, I have an affiliate link down below you could use to purchase the game from the game store and all that good stuff like that. So anyway, thank you for returning with me. We are here with another episode. Um... Lately, I have been, it's, I don't know if it's from an update or something, but I've been having some weird frame things happen finally. I mean, finally, but the thing is, I haven't really done too much different stuff here, so I'm not really sure what is causing it. If they were playing around with some optimization things or something, maybe with a, a secret patch, who knows. But either way, we're here. I'm not mad. I'm not mad, man. Um, I did do some more, some more exploring and came back with 24 green slugs. I had nine yellow slugs, power slugs, but we researched some one. And I got another purple power slug, so this one's actually good to go. And it is times five. Times five, the shards. So it, that's pretty solid. Let's go ahead and make some let's go ahead and make some power shards, man. Because we can do that right here, right? Right? Yeah, power shards. 24 of them. Oh, that's so nice. There we go, baby. There we go. Yep. 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 And then we can do the yellow ones. Oh, that's beautiful. That's already, what, 40 of them? And then we have one purple one uh, uh, right here. Holy crap. That's serious business. 45. 45 of these suckers now. For 45 of them. That's amazing. Now, um, also, while we were out and about, actually, I came back with a lot of mats and stuff. Went some explorations, like I said. And ended up uh, crafting up some more inhalers. Which we now have 38 of them. We have 38 inhalers, and I'm actually getting short on the bearers. The bars, the bars are pretty low, but I mean, I'm not really worried about it. We have a decent amount of bacon waiting for us. That's great. Um, also, we have some raw quartz now. We have a little bit of sulfur. We have a little bit of the bauxite. Bauxite. Um, eight summer flies. Summer flies. Summer sloops, and then uh, Mercer balls. We got nine of those. So that's really cool. Uh, and what else do we do? What else do we do? Hmm. Uh, we came back with a bunch of other random things, too, that don't have icons yet, which I assume they're not in the, really in the game yet, or functional. We got some heat sinks. We got some silica, which we did last time. And then we also got the batteries. On top of that, we got some oil from plants, and we got a, I got a bunch of sand more now. Also grabbed, the, got a couple four of uh, the heavy modular frames, circuit boards, and things like that. So we've we've kind of moved ahead along pretty nicely here. Uh, yeah, and then I did make the rest of that cutterium ore into quick wire, which I should probably go ahead and move this over to you to make that there. So what I'd like to do is actually what we talked about. As you can see, the numbers on my screen at the top were for the stuff. I want to go ahead and unlock the uh, places we can unlock um, for more uh, drives, hard drives. You can use hard drives in your research center to get new alternative recipes. I actually put one in. There were two out of all the runs I did that didn't need anything. They were just ready to grab. Prep de porte, if you will. And uh, we can go here and see there's alternative blueprint, blue, uh, blueprint screws, which takes two ingots, which is very nice right now. Um, that's very nice. And then with modular frame, and then the alternate for iron ingots. I'm not really worried about that. This is... I'm getting you. We're confirming that. Yay! Incoming message. Data on the hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. So there's a different amount of different recipes available, and there's like a pool of them to choose from, and it randomly chooses from them. Now, one thing I do know is if you it's based on when you access the ma'am and, and to check your analysis if you say before you do it when it's done you can actually keep reloading and go through and get the blueprints that you want i didn't do that there that was just like happened to be that one that's one of the ones i would like um obviously i think you know i have no idea what all of them are but i do know that was one of them and that's happiness and i do know that's a thing so now you guys know a thing so if you're trying to be like all not enjoying randomness of the game and you want to have it more in line with what you need to do whenever it's done just make sure you save, go in there. If it doesn't have the one you want, reload, save, go back. And if, that might be something that might change in the future. Since I talked about it in a video, I'm sorry. I don't think they always watch or anything like that, but just in case they are, I'm sorry. Um, we have, uh, you have some options. You have some options. That's good. 
So uh, I wrote down on here, let's see the numbers on there. I wrote down on my notepad here, the different places. So we've got one place that takes 12 screws. We're definitely gonna go there. Um, we also have a place that takes uh, one quick wire. The other one that takes 21 rotors. The rest of them all take power or power with something. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and go ahead and get the stuff we really need. So, the, uh, and not do the power ones yet. There is one that is off in the distance we could do, I mean, not really that far. It's kind of crazy, it only takes one, but hey, that's all it is, it's just a one, it's not really the loneliest number this time. So we have one quick wire, we have some rotors we need to grab, 21 of those. And there we go. And 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 then after we do this, actually, um, what we're gonna do is, if I could just do my numbers right, we'd be okay. We're going to go ahead and start working on actually getting automated processing going on. Um, we've held off for long enough. It's time to go ahead and get use out of our storage depot that we've created and um, step up the game and 12 screws. Actually, we just do it like this. We want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and 12. Look at that, guys. There we go. Perfect dispensary units. So we'll, we'll quick wire, blah, 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 blah. Oh, and one take Sam or. No, 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 that's what I have. I have Sam or at number three. I'm sorry. I meant to type in Sam at it, but I didn't. I found another place that had Sam or as well, like actual deposit areas. So that's pretty cool. So um, I'm going to go ahead and head out here, grab this stuff like that, get this stuff going, and we will return shortly. You all hold on. All right, I'm at the first one. I believe this one takes the quick wire. I, I figured I'd come back so you guys could, if you, in case you were interested in seeing how the process is, it's really pretty easy. But I figured I'd at least stop by for a couple seconds to show you, give you that much respect. Here's the beacon we put down here. And inside here is the, is the, the wow, it's, okay. It wasn't, there we go, so it takes that one. It automatically grabbed it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pull ha handle open door right here. And then bam, and we take our hard drive and we're good. And that's it. That's all it is to it. And we get hard drives and it's free alternative re recipes. So that's really cool. Um, I know that was really short, but I figured I'd show you what the deal is so we could, you, you guys know what's up. So um, I'm actually gonna pick this up. That one's done. And I'm gonna cross it off my list of number stuff. And that was number five. So we're gonna get rid of that. I'm crossing it off as we speak. And I'm off to number six. All right, we're back from our expedition. We've unlocked other ones. I found another place, drop another beacon down, blah, 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 blah. Let's see what we got. Ooh, encase industrial beams. That only takes the pipes and the concrete, whereas it would normally take beams and pipes are super easy to make compared to the beams. And there's an alternate one there. I'm gonna grab this guy right here. Hello, sir. And we have another one. We're gonna drop another one in. Oops, I gotta choose. Nope, it's a hard drive, hard drive. Well, if we put both the supercomputer and a hard drive in, what would happen? Ooh. Anyway, I'm gonna put this other guy in the hole here. And then we need to put anything else in you? No. I've started putting the car in the this box here because I am making a uh, biofuel, a uh, bio whatever from it, and we're good with that. I'm good with that. So these this beacon inside there with you. So what we're gonna do is I think I'm gonna start with getting steel production done first. This is gonna help us uh, promote making beams and stuff. And looking at what we've got available to us, there are two iron uh, nodes over there which we could work with. And then further that way is the coal and two iron nodes and another limestone, which we could grab limestone from here to have stuff. But I think one limestone would be enough. And I think if we built like maybe the factory for it all somewhere in here, that would be a good spot. Like right in that spot and then rotate these to feed this way and then have those feed down into there. We should be good. Um, I'm down with that. I'm gonna have to gather up the mats together for it. Let's see what we have in our groups of stuff. I think I made a crap ton of beams so we can make the MK3s at least. Yeah. I think we're good on that for a little while. Probably just a little while though. I'll find out that it was not a little while enough. Uh, we also, how many iron plates do I have here? We'll take all. We'll grab this. Uh, then let's look at you. I should have you emptied out except for your, your biofuel is hanging out in there. Um, let me go ahead and store all except for the inhaler, which I'm going to go ahead and put away into this box of items. So I like that. I like having the box of items too. Uh, I think we're going to grab the paint. We're going to do some painting with this one. Like that much paint. And then I'm going to grab some iron bars. 
or rods, whatever. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. Some more plates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, maybe. Uh, we have concrete down below. You're going to need some cables for running power. Let's do that. Uh, I don't need screws. Do we need the, yeah, we're going to need you for constructors and stuff. And then we'll have to come back up to grab stuff for assemblers. I don't want to bring everything with me on that one. Oops. And I got to go ahead and put the gas in your hole. Gas in the hole. Check. Check. And check. Very nice. So one thing I am going to need to do now that I think about getting on this, guys. I want to have it squared with this build. I wanted to make any builds we make squared with this build. Regardless how far we have to run something. I want it at least within the immediate area. I'd say short to intermediate distances is going to be square with this build. That's just how we're going to do it. I'm not going to. Nope. No. Nope, can't say anything else to me, guys. That's what we're going to do. So what needs to happen is I need to go over here and grab some more concrete from the concrete line. And what I'm going to do is I guess off camera is go ahead and unload and load and get stuff ready and go and all that good stuff. Here. I can grab another hundred from you, right? Yes, I can. We got a bunch more in there. Yeah, let me go ahead and get my stuff together. I should have put another. Well, I'll run back and grab it from the lower shipping area and stuff. Okay. Anyway, let me get my stuff like I said together. Oh, I have one over here. Okay. We'll be back. We'll be back. Okay. Welcome back. We got things lined up, set up. I chose the height I want. I did some chainsaw and just to kind of get it there. We might end up doing some multi-level stuff. I don't know just yet, but uh, we do have. At least some sort of thing started up. The cool thing is we won't have any miners, miners directly inside this facility um, because they will all be on external areas. So um, having to worry about uh, to uh, like worrying about offsets for miners because the miners never you can put the foundations down, but they still won't snap to a nice square set up to where you want on the interior of the building. So we were we, we were good to go with that here. I'm just, I'm just saying we're good to go. Now I'm thinking on the back end of this we're gonna have our loaders come in and load up our interior of our everything like this so like we'll have the coal coming in is it from right up there i think i believe it is i believe it is um and then we have two iron over there along with one limestone if i get up here there we go well we don't want to get up there okay fine uh let's look take, oh. it's stinky time too stinky time right all right that's great yeah, um, back there is the two iron nodes, and over there is our limestone on that one. Um, and then, yeah, I believe back over there somewhere is our, our coal owl. Coal owl. Um, and so we'll have those running back here, so that'll be four inputs running in, plus two over here, and that should be about good. Um, I got to get some miners together, but let's, let's look at our overall design of how we're going to approach this because I'd like to do something. Um, something I've worked on on stream is a different kind of way to transport myself between two places, uh, which is it was a little tedious to start setting up. I don't know if this is where it's going to be, but let me show you what I'm thinking, what I'm going to do. Those of you who watch the stream, I appreciate you being there and you understand what's about to happen. Uh, we did come across something that I didn't care for, but hey, it is what it is. We're going to choose you. And I'm using these 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 places here just to get. There we go. Set up with some other things too. Great. Now you want to be like that, huh? How about like this? How about like that now, huh? How about like that? How about like that? How about how about? No, no, uh, no, no. Yes. I guess it needs that to get the little snap on it too. If I got rid of these these foundations, put them after the fact, it would have been better off. Let's just go with that. I'm going to rotate this around and do this side too. Okay, that's not right. So we'll go ahead and get rid of these. And what this is, is I'm making a walkway system, which you, I'm sure you obviously can tell. But what it's going to end up having is you cannot snap stuff on regular foundations. Like with on, on the regular uh, walkway areas, you have to use foundations. So if we set up foundations, we'll be able to actually place, like uh, do a power line run and then also do our uh, do a conveyor belt run and then have the run the have conveyor belts on both sides so we'll have as one go one direction one go the other direction and we can make us a quick quick like uh escalator if you will to get back and forth to central hub and to our different foundations uh, our different uh factories and that is why i'm wanting it to square with the main build uh, well, one of the reasons why also, I think it'd just be nice and a good challenge to get it over there and then not go crazy and rip my hair. Well, I don't, anyway, and then, um, have everything line up. That would be really good. And so I think something like that would be nifty. 
Um, the problem we're having is I can do the stackable conveyor racks, but you can't stack underneath. If you could, if they could snap underneath, that would make this whole process a lot easier, but it's not. And so you have to kind of finagle things to make them look like they lined up sometimes. So yeah, I, I'm not 100% happy with that, but we might just do floaty time here. I don't know if I want to do floaty time, but it might be the best way to get things so we can continue progressing. And I don't spend five hours just to make one row of uh, tracks up there for you guys. But you know, this is, and then when we're done, we'll remove these things and then like everything will stay floaty time with it. So that that's what I'm thinking about doing. And again, uh, I believe that's why we're, well, I believe why. That's one of the reasons why I want to have it squared with the build because it makes this process a heck of a lot easier. And you have to worry about them not lining up on either end of the builds. Um, and if we make one build square with the other build, then it's in that build over there ends up being separate from this build, but it's square with that one. They're still square with each other, which is great because then when everybody's in a square party, we're all good to go. So um, the approach again is coming up in here. And then I think what we'll do is the back end will have a lower input drop that comes up into the back end to our initial set of probably do. I'm thinking we'll do refineries at the. Um, place of mining and have them just push out the ingots immediately and then have the ingots get ran into here and then that way we have some oh there's a little green slug up there hey green slug how you doing squiggly hey squiggly how you doing sorry i didn't see you earlier um but yeah we get this lined up we'll have the inputs in there we'll have the ingots in that means we'll have just straight factory level stuff and refinement will be done in each thing so i uh, guess what i need to do then is also run some foundations over to our mining places here and kind of work off of that and then like just kind of expand into what we're going to expand into um this way we can be prepped up and ready to roll so i guess i need to step away for a couple minutes and get some work done uh, um you guys saw the coal factory actually going together um and we're kind of going to do the same ish thing here but uh let me go ahead and get some stuff done and we'll come back because i don't want to spend the whole time just you guys you know having to wait and see stuff happen and whatnot and we'll be right back all right, welcome back. And we do have some things done. I wanted to get a nice, clean setup. Uh, I wasn't worried about the footprint size. Uh, I think some people worry about like having super small, small, small like areas. But I kind of like the idea of having clean areas. So everything is a 90 that I could do. The miners themselves are offset differently than how the foundations. But the foundations are squared with that. So I made sure everything else is squared with the foundations. So there's a little bit of, a little bit of that going on. But everything else dealing outside of the miners is a full 90 and what the heck did I do there? Why did I do that? That is one. It just looks weird. Weird. Wait, what? That's weird how that's how that's happening there, huh? Interesting. Okay, so anyway, we have two miners coming out there. The MK2 miners. They're coming out here. They're pushing out 60 or per minute. We have it running through a splitter. These run into with no power right now, but they're running 30 per minute. This is allowing me to use this without wasting any power slugs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so we can at least push out 120 ingots per minute, and then we can adjust accordingly. Accordingly. Because <laughs> if we go to 200% on that, that'll end up pushing it to where it does a nice solid 120. And then we could go 200% on these. Oops, uh, I need to go ahead and choose that. 200% on these, and then we'll go 60 per minute. And currently, our belts can handle that. So, and our belts can actually handle up another boost up even further. So, uh, we're kind of future proofed a little bit over here. So, what I have is that these guys here, now, the, what isn't future, well, this could still handle it because it's a 270, but I have mergers after these to push the 260s into 120s, the 120s into a 240. The 240 here, yeah, we would need to get another belt um, opened all the way which is fine by the time we do that anyway we should be okay and it'd be just a quick upgrade but i have it feeding this way i want it to come out this way and come up and then this way can feed to the back side of our beautiful looking area um i don't think i should keep this tree if i can help it but um it'd be kind of cool also i was thinking is to have like a side loading like where you see all the conveyors coming in the side somehow um maybe we can do a feed underneath and then have it come in the side and swing around just whoa whoa that was crazy you see that what just happened? Wow, okay. Anyway, so um, I do want to build a structure around that. I want to color code what is what in each thing. It's like, uh, maybe, let's, I don't have my color gun on me. It's it's in, is it in you? It's a crazy vehicle, you? No, I, I did have it on me. 
Oh, okay. But like, uh, look at the color codes. Like maybe this kind of color for the iron because it's kind of like a rusty orange or orange color. Do a greenish color for, you know, copper because that's how it looks when it gets like copperized and stuff like that. And kind of try and keep up with what each factory looks like. And even the machines inside, maybe we can do that. Just to kind of, you know, instead of just having the same color across the whole entire build, maybe come up with something for each individual build that, that really does it. The only thing that sucks is we can't paint conveyors. Like this little orangey thing, I wish it would change, but it doesn't. So we have that. Also, the power is set up. I used one of the, the new guys. And just wanted to see how it looked like. And we have six full wires running here. Squiggly! Squiggly, how you doing? Um, well, six full wires running. And I have this extra one out here just in case I want to tie it into that once it's set up. But that's how this one's going to go. And I think we're going to go ahead and get some more um, set up. And then we'll worry about the actual building. Maybe we'll do that next episode. But at least get the infrastructure started and know what our footprints are going to be and go from there. So anyway, let me get over to, the, I guess, the coal section. And we will return shortly. Okay, welcome back. And this is taking a little bit because if you can see, we've ran foundations. Squiggly! We've ran foundations all the way th from the build is, which is on the other side over there, through this under the arch over here. Come on, that's way. Come up to here. So this is square. And I put one um, industrial generator, uh, well, industrial well, coal generator up here. And all the walls will completely surround this thing so we can make a neat build with it. But at least the, the beginning pieces are in play. And it should be good to go. It should this should be in, this will be enough power to run power all the way to what we're going to do down below at the other iron spots um, and limestone. So uh, again, they're going to do the processing there, like the initial refinery, and then we'll, we'll be sending it all to the new place. Uh, let's go ahead and let's do one of these here. And let's do. We're going to put a door on this side because we're going to end up making a walkway up to this place here. Now, I'm wondering, too, uh, can we do the power stuff? Do I have little ones with me? I, I do have enough stuff for the little ones on me. Hmm. There's a way to be cheaty with this, too. Like, you can actually not worry about the clipping and stuff like that if you do it right. But um, I'm not talking about this right now, but we well, could do it here, too, if we do it right. There it is. But I'm talking about inside. I've been able to do this before. Watch. Now that I say I can do this, I won't be able to do it now. Watch. There we go. Walls. Where you at? Walls. You right here. Like that. Oh, yeah. And then this will just can cut right through. And this might be the way I do this for now until we can come up with a cleaner solution of running the power in and out. It's connected through there. Oh, that's going to block my conveyor. Dang it, man. It's not connected through there. But we'll do something like that to get it. We could also do something on the offset over here with a different wall, too. Um, I just want to get stuff functional. So you should be already lined up to the center of you. And you are. So you can run all the way down to where we're going to be doing that. The down. Um, also, we need to throw down our own. I'm going to yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and use the basic power pole for in here. There's no need for a higher end one. We'll put the box facing that way. Let's get you into here. Get you into there. Also, I probably should have grabbed some coal off of this thing. Hmm. Hmm. Now I can. Uh, that should be enough right there. And I should be able to put this back, right? Yes. 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 Good win. All right. I'm going to you. Let's go ahead and place the coal into the hole. And that should get this guy running. Should start spitting these things out. There it is. And now you got loaded up. Okay, cool. We're good to go. Excellent. So this thing is powered up. We're good to go on that. Um, Yeah, and I want to end up doing something with like the walkway system we're going to do. That's going to be a really long walkway, but it'll be worth it in the end. If I ever need to come out here for anything ever, ever again. Now, how far will you reach? I think I'll have to do one right in the middle of the rows and stuff, but we'll try and see. Let's just see right quick. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need one right in the middle. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in the middle of the fourth should be the one we need, like right here where the tree is sticking through that I don't like. Then 
then you should go up there. Is it going the wrong direction? No. Okay, good. There's a little hump in it, but it is what it is. And what I'm going to do is end up combining um, the outputs from everything to run to our factory so it looks somewhat clean. So over here, I'll end up putting in stuff since we already have these guys here. Well, we can go and bring it over. You can see what I've been doing. Like, I've just been bringing stuff over, man. And this is this has been... It's been a long process. I'm just going to say that. It's been a long, long day of recording. I'm off streaming today, and it's been more... A lot of... Yeah, we've been busy. <laughs> It's fine though. Well, uh, it was I, to me. I wanted to do something where you place our infrastructure first and got it like infrastructure, as in the the storage and the management of long-term you know, needs and, and upgrading and stuff like that. I.e., our store, central hub, and the space elevator. And then we unlocked enough stuff to whenever we come out here and actually do this thing that uh, we have like enough stuff unlocked to where we can get it almost to where we're gonna maintain it at. I mean, up until we have the updates for the upper tiers to unlock but we'll have it kind of in a good spot. That way, when I need to upgrade something, I don't have to completely scratch it all up and redo it again. We actually have stuff ready, so yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. Hopefully you guys are happy too. Thumbs up for being happy, maybe, maybe. Mm -mm -mm. All right, here we go. This goes here, this goes there, this goes everywhere. And right in there, right there, and there. And see, uh, again, we're going to do the smelting at this facility here. And since we have power up at the, the coal plant that we're going to be building, we're going to be building structures for everything. But is that lined up? Yeah, it is. Um, we'll be able to set it up and have it look nice and pretty. I do need some miners, but I did throw it down a workbench over here so I can make the miners. We should be able to do two of them. And what do we, do we have enough for the MK2s on me? No, but I think I've got some of those parts in here. I do. Look at that. Look at them apples. If you like apples. So we just need one more steel pipe. Uh, do I not have any in here? I can make some, but I thought I had some more made. I don't. Okay. And I, I think I incorrectly called these steel beams and not ingots because that's what they are. They're ingots, not beams when I grabbed them from earlier. Uh, let's go ahead and get the steel pipes done. Perfect. I didn't even need to do that many. We just, we just went, we went crazy with the man. Okay, so let's just put this one down. Where are you at, man? Where's your spot? Find your spot. Where's your spot? Is it up too high? Okay, so it's up too high for the spot. Yay! Because the spot was right there. Right? But I'll let it do it right here. Now, if I place you here, can I put these underneath you? It's interesting how it let me finagle like that. And it's lined up nicely. Let's check out this other one then. What's the wrong thing? This is it here. Wow. Okay, that's nice then. It's gonna be weird this too. Oops, it's, it's angled. It's gonna be weird here too because um, on the stream we built a full like steel complex here, and this will be we won't have that here. We'll have something different, obviously, but it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird, man. If you didn't know, it was, it'd be weird. It's gonna be weird. That's it there. Excellent. Fill in the holes. Fill in the, please fill in the hole. Okay, good. Excellent. So we have these guys set up. I'm just going to do the same thing we did at the other spot and have it run as well. And I believe that is the time we've got for today. Um, you can see how we're pre-planning to get ourselves set up. Everything's going to be squared up to the main uh, central hub. That's why it's also the central hub because everything else is squared up to it. Um, and then that makes it make interconnecting things a lot easier and nicer and shinier. Um, I, I really look forward to what we're going to get done here. But either way... Thank you guys so very much, and you all have a good night.